Startup Nation, before we get to today's guest, I want to share with you a book I recently read. So with that, big shout out to Greenleaf Book Group for providing the book for us. They would say, hey, Dominic, we got this book. We think you and your audience may enjoy. Would you be willing to kind of read it and share your thoughts on it? It's like, sure, no problem. And so that's what we're going to do right now. And if you want to check out all the other books and authors that they have there at Greenleaf, go to GBG Press. We actually have a link there in the show notes for easy access. So make sure you go ahead and check out that website for sure. Now, the name of the book is Flip Flops and Microwaved Fish, Navigating the Do's and Don'ts of Workplace Culture. Now, if you know me, Startup Nation, you know I love interesting book titles and and, and stuff that are kind of off the wall. Honestly, as soon as I read the title of this book, I was instantly, okay, let's see what this is about. But before we dive deep into the book, here's a little bit about the book itself, what it's about, and the author. Let's first start with the author. The author is Peter Yawitz, founder of Clear Communication. He started this company in 1991, Startup Nation, so he probably knows what he's talking about. He specializes in communication and marketing strategy, training, and one-on-one coaching for global organizations in a variety of disciplines. He's born and raised in Manhattan, still lives there, actually. He got his under grad from Princeton University and an MBA from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania. So clearly, once again, Star Automation, this dude sounds pretty knowledgeable, if I may say so myself. And you can check out his website, peteryawitz.com. He has this amazing blog on there called Someone Else's Dad. And we'll talk a little bit about that as we dive into the book. Now, a little bit about the book itself. Flip Flops and Microwave Fish helps people starting out in their careers learn how to be more than just professional-ish. It actually says that professional-ish, right? It offers very funny and practical advice on truly understanding and managing life at work. Written for both American and non-American young workers, in addition to anyone else who's uncertain about how they come across at work. This book provides useful tips that can be immediately implemented to help people adapt well to their workplace culture. And Startup Nation, that's so important in today's world. A lot of times when we, especially to my Gen Zers out there, right? A lot of times when we come into the workplace, you know, we just graduated from college and we dive into a a new place of work or sometimes a lot of times our first place of work, a lot of these skills, what we like to call soft skills are kind of going to be expected once you walk into the door. Now, I don't know where the workplaces are going to expect you to get this stuff, because usually, you know, as an older millennial, you just get this stuff, this knowledge over time. But for some reason, they're going to expect you to walk in the door of this stuff. And that's why I'm going to recommend that you read Flip Flops and Microwave Fish for that very reason. First off, Startup Nation, it's a how-to book. And I love how-to books because there's no room for ambiguity. There's no room for, you know, what do I do next? Peter does a very good job of having those building blocks of what to do next after he's given you the first set of, you know, advice or instructions, if you will, however you want to take it, right? Also, it's an easy read, not in the sense of like, like a kindergarten or first grade book, but more so in the sense of like, you can see as you read in each piece, it's building towards something, right? For instance, chapter one, a new workplace talks to you and walks you through like your first day, maybe a few of those steps right before you start a new job. Chapter two, everything communicates, what to wear, how to greet people. So that's what Peter does very well. He provides the building blocks. So that way you kind of take out, I mean, obviously you can't account for everything, but Peter does a really good job of taking out a lot of anxiety for you on your first day of work. Like little subtleties that that Peter has acknowledged and, and has witnessed over the years of his amazing career that he's imparting on you as the Gen Zer, as somebody who is not uh, customary to uh, business language and business customs like that. So it's very easy to read in that regard. And I love that part for sure. Another reason is that like, look, the chapters are not very long, which is super important because a lot of times in how-to books, the, the author is pontificating and he's, he's you know, you can tell he, he's got to get all this out on his off his chest or her chest or whatever, right? But Peter, you don't get that because with Peter, he doesn't take himself too serious. He pokes fun at himself. He pokes fun at the people that he's talking about in examples. He pokes fun at you 
as the reader but it's all in good fun and so you're not going to get like this whole thing of like he's better than you and you should listen to me because i'm that i'm this important no when he adopts the moniker of someone else's dad it you can tell in this book just like it's in, the, in his blog post in his youtube channel you can tell that in his book and it just makes for an easy read and a very great read in that regard as well also the chapters are standalone each one of these chapters startup nation within the book are you could definitely get something out of and then as soon as you you finish that chapter you can implement it right then and there and you know here at the startup life that is what we're all about if we don't provide that for you as soon as the episode ends, or in this case if as soon as you close the book then i feel like peter shares the same sentiment that like, we haven't done our job that's another reason why i want to recommend flip-flops and microwave fish also start nation and we, we talked about you know these soft skills but this book is evergreen look business practices change over time S markets change over time you know uh different technology changes over time but when it comes to soft skills you know a lot of the stuff really is evergreen there are a few things that kind of changes over time but the base of it all really is evergreen and honestly i feel like this is a book that you don't read just one time as an older millennial startup nation as i was reading this book a lot of this stuff i did know however it was a great reminder it was like oh you know what i did kind of slack off on that a little bit when i had that business meeting last time you know what when I sent that email, I did kind of like flub a few words every here and there that could have, you know, made myself sound a little bit different than, or at least how I wanted to come across. So even for me, as a person who's been in corporate America for a while, as a person who's been as an entrepreneur for a while, it forced me to self-reflect. And that's why I definitely recommend this book, Startup Nation. It's for the Gen Zer who's entering the workplace. It's for the older millennial like myself. It's even for the, the baby boomer. And Startup Nation, I have to say, that my chapter MVP of flip flops and microwave fish is chapter six. Chapter six meetings, conference calls, and presentations. Because look, a lot of times, Startup Nation, and you may not know this or not, but one of the biggest fears uh, that people have, and honestly, is some people fear more than death, is public speaking, right? And so when you're talking about conference calls and, and you're talking about sales presentations, right? Those things can get a little tricky. But Peter does an amazing job of giving you those tools, giving you what you need in order to provide the most concise, the most accurate depiction of what you want to come across. But he also gives those tips about your target audience when it comes to that communication. He gives a magnificent example of if your target audience just wants the bullet points or if your target audience wants the long drawn out details, right? There's one example when he talks about how uh, how not to write an email. He gives us an example of this extremely long email with just full of just words that don't mean anything and stuff like that. And you come across this in business communications all the time. And honestly, Startup Nation, which I thought was hilarious because he even says like, you know, if you decide to read it and then, you know, you go through the passage and then afterwards he says, you know, if you read it, uh, you know, that tells me that Peter is, he's extremely knowledgeable about what he does, but he's extremely approachable. And in this era of OK Boomer and stuff like that, that is so important startup nation which is why you definitely want to grab this book and also he has amazing anecdotes as well he gives anecdotes from his personal experience but he also gives anecdotes from the people that chime in uh, to him on, on someone else's dad.com he pulls some of those anecdotes into the book which gives you that real world experience because look a lot of times people talk about you know this is what you should do this is what you should do next but they don't give a whole lot of like the real world experience, right? And so Peter does this not only with his own personal experiences, but he does this with other people's experiences as well that share some of their concerns, share some of the challenges that they're having in the workplace. And he, and he does a really good job uh, in a very humorous way of helping those people. And, and I love some of the nicknames that he has for them as well, which is just uh, hilarious for sure so here's my final recommendation startup nation flip flops and microwave fish it's a must buy it's a must buy the reason being is because if you are once again that gen zer who was just entering to workplace or you're coming from uh, another culture into the united states to to do business or to do some work or if you're the opposite if you're in the united states and you're going elsewhere 
um, to do business or do some work, this book is the one you want to have in your in your toolkit for sure. And it's not just for people who are just in the traditional nine to five, but it's also for my entrepreneurs as well. Look, there's a lot of stuff in this book that I got extreme value for, even whether it's new advice or new ideas or if it's just reminders like, you know what, I should uh, do that. And honestly, Peter is the perfect person to write this book at the perfect time because honestly, Startup Nation, we're living in two concurrent eras right now. First off, and I mentioned this earlier, when the era of the OK Boomer type of thing, right? And a lot of times millennials and Gen Zers may not want to listen or don't really give much, much thought to what uh, people of that generation have, and I, which I think is a detriment to Gen Zers and millennials as well. Uh, but with Peter, you're not going to get that pontificating. You're not going to get that, you know, I'm important. I'm older. I've done all this stuff. You should listen to me. He comes in in a very approachable way. He comes in very funny, but also extremely and more importantly, extremely knowledgeable at what he does. He's also the perfect author for this book because he also is part of the era of the dad joke, right? You know, we love dad jokes. That's kind of the thing right now. And he gives off that vibe where a little bit of corny, but definitely in your corner, definitely there to help, just like a classic TV dad, which I am very always very fond of for sure. So once again, you should definitely must buy Flip Flops and Microwave Fish, navigating the do's and don'ts of workplace culture. So as we come up on college graduate season and you're gonna throw parties and throw dinners uh, and have some type of nice little gift package for your college graduate, you need to include Flip Flops and Microwave Fish. It's definitely gonna set them up on the right path to success. It's definitely gonna set them up greatly in the workplace as they navigate their career or their path of entrepreneurship. So we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break. And when we come back, we'll talk to today's guest. 